Greetings, minions. I am Overlord Shadow Zali, and welcome back to the Shadow Keeper here on YouTube for first episode of our Let's Play of War for the Overworld. For those of you that don't know what game this is, some of you guys may or may not know. Back in 1995, there was a game called Dungeon Keep where you resumed a god role of an Overlord that took over and wanted to control the underworld and this time around we're going to take over the overworld this is an rts slash god game slash dungeon management game and without further ado let's get into this first episode part one is I've awakening been for someone to spearhead my campaign but before we get stuck in, let's refresh that old mind. No, short and sweet portion of the story. You were, we are an over, overlord that's been slumbering in darkness. We have awakened. It is time to refresh our memory. The first map, awakening. As we go through this, I will do my best, ladies and gentlemen, to go over the many aspects of. But basically what it is is well, let's just let the tutorial explain it. Shall we? Now go Welcome back, Underlord. I must say, I wasn't expecting you quite so soon. The transference may have left you feeling a bit foggy in the head. Focus now. I'll try to ease you back into it. I'm so tired. I wanted to sleep longer. This does seem to get easier each time. This is your home realm, the source of your power, and the anchor that binds you to reality. Many years ago, it was destroyed, and you were cast out into formless nothing. Fortunately, you've returned from your exile. To once again challenge those who would stand between us and the mortal realm of Kairos. Your resurrection heralds the next phase of our assault upon its wretched empire, now led by the newly crowned Emperor Lucius. Emperor Lucius but he is will least pay. And final of our worries. It's his general and the protection of their goddess, Kira, that will truly test our metal. Ready yourself, Underlord. Let's begin our war for the Overworld. No mortal man that worships the light will withstand our evil might. So for each m mission and each level of this, we control and maintain and management a dungeon underground, and the Warriors Welcome of Light back, try to it's stop us. It's been a long us. time since you were banished to the ether. You've returned as a husk of your former self, but I've taught far denser underlords than you. Let's start with the basics. Yes. Let's give us this the fans. Core, the tether that allows you to manifest your malignant will. If destroyed, your consciousness will once again be scattered to the void. Your workers are an extension of your dark will. They have many jobs, but their main focus is in carving out the halls of your dungeon. So basically, them to work by clicking and dragging your cursor upon the flashing tiles to tag them for excavation. Thank you, mentor. Your workers will now rush forth to dig out and claim the tagged area. Yes, mentor, we understand. Once they have laid down the Come on, man. marking the ground <laughs> as your own, <laughs> oh, he just loves to we'll talk, guys. To build rooms upon the finished tiles. While your lackeys get to work, look to the east of your dungeon core. So basically, this is our dungeon core slash dungeon heart. We have to protect it at all times. If any other overlord or the warriors of light stumble upon into our 
our dungeon and destroy it. Game over. We lose. Now these little fellas here. Let me see if I can, I can scum these little imp thingies. These are our workers. I can pick them up. See, pick them all up. I can drop them with the right click. I can slap them. Yeah, I like to slap these guys. They're really awesome. But all right. First things first is let's go ahead and put them to work. We need them to dig out gold and and tiles to form our rooms to that we sh that as we go along can this build upon. One of the many portals that you'll use to attract minions to your dungeon. You slap these guys, they will work harder and faster. To dig a path to it now. Slap. It's work. This is our, as he said, our gateway. This is what brings in our minions, our warriors, to come in and attack and defend our dungeon core. Now that you have a gateway. Minions can enter into your service, but first you'll need to build the rooms necessary to entice them in. Start by building a barracks. This room would allow your minions to hone their combat skills without the risk of permanent death or disfigurement. Select it and build it by clicking and dragging your hand across the claimed tile. Building rooms. rooms must be built at least three by three in order to function properly. Though the lair and vault are effective at any size. So now we must build our first room. Which our first room is the barracks. It's like a training hall. You can either do a simply click each tile, or if you click and hold and drag, you can do a whole room all at once. Now, like you said, a has entered your dungeon. gnarly. A gnarly has entered Look your at him. Dungeon. Attracted by the barracks, these green-skinned scrappers aren't quite right in the head, and they'll happily hack at your foes until someone is dead. They Outside of combat, gnarlings will train themselves within your barracks. You can pick them up with a click as you find them slouching off, then deposit them anywhere within your dungeon with a right click. For further entertainment, you can always put yourself directly into their head. By casting possession upon them. Along with our building abilities, we can also can use spells. One of my favorite is the possession the spell, where I can wall. literally take control of a gnarly or anything I want. And I can, you know, other tasks. there's the ability, minions. I can shiv, for their basic needs. I can cleave. First, so the pitiful little meat sack we'll let our gnarling do his bidding. Oh, he, you can take control over. Oops. You can take control over just about any minion you can. Oh, it's wanting us to do this first. Must obey the tutorial. But basically, every mission we build a base, we attract many, many different creatures, minions of all sorts, to our realm, and we use them to attack and eliminate our enemies. What is that? Oh, that's hard road. Not all walls can be struck. If you look over here, this little black wall here, this is an impenetrable rock, meaning nothing can break through it. Not even not even magic spells. So eventually, we'll get spells that we can destroy walls easily. Now it's time to make our lair for our well, minions that. to sleep well. But see how your gold reserves have been depleted. Oh, yeah. Command your workers to mine some of the nearby gold by tagging the gleaming tiles. We need to they collect and return gold to your dungeon coffers, allowing you to spend it on whatever your dark heart desires. Your core can store up to sixteen thousand gold. Sixteen thousand, ooh. But oh look, we got another gnome. If pitifully small, or if wealth inspires the evil in you, simply build a vault to store more. Now that you've got a bit of coin in your pocket, you can build a slaughter pan. This room produces scores of micro piglets. Micro piglets. A that will sustain the weak flesh of your minions by filling their bellies with succulent pig flesh. Yes, we have to build ourselves a feeding house, the slaughter pen. Just so you guys know, our, our workers don't need to feed, they don't need to sleep, so they won't take up room here in our 
in our lair or your dungeon has been breached. Uh oh, uh -oh. we've been breached. Upon these specters, and your minions will immediately sally forth to wreak bloody havoc. We're under assault by what does it look like? Some spirit looking thingies. Rally flag. It doesn't say, does it? Want spectrums. So if we come over here and watch. Watch them slaughter our enemies quickly. Also, besides in, in the barracks, gaining experience, they get experience in combat, and they also level up. Manifestations with a second rally flag. Get them, my minions, my gnarls, my mighty troops. That's right, you get them. Victory is ours. Work of those specters, but see how they still circle the flag. You can dismiss rally flags by slapping them with a the right click. Ooh. This should allow your minions to return to their jobs and tend their needs in a timely fashion. What are you doing now? You Why are you running out about? Call upon a minion to immediately return them to your dungeon. Though Goodbye. Though are attacked as it channels, then the spell will fizzle into nothing. And if you're, you're on a roll, Underlord. And I've been waiting far too long to begin my war for the overworld. Let us enter the realm of Kairos and continue your retraining against a more fitting enemy. Voila! And that's basically well the basics. Well done, Underlord. I see it all coming back quite quickly. I expected nothing less. But there's much still to learn. Why don't we work in a bit of murder while we're at it? It's time for you to enter the realm of Kairos. And that is the end of the first mission. Basically, basically, Dancer, it teaches you the basics, but as we get further in to War for the Overworlds, we gain more rooms. Like, we gain a, um, a library where... Warlocks and other magical creatures of the mystical arts can come and study where they can study and teach us new spells and new rooms Also, they gain experience to level up through that every every creature has a specific use in your dungeon besides defending and fighting your enemies like There's a workshop that we eventually learn where we build traps and doors to suppress and Delay the enemies that we fight. Um, eventually, we'll get to fight heroes um, later in the game. As a preview, we get a torture house, which we can get a prison and a torture house, which with the prison and the torture house, I can turn on the prison so my guys will kill, won't kill, will kill the enemy. They'll knock them down to one health and knock, render, render them unconscious. Our imps will drag them to the prison and we can pick them up and heal them and stick them in the torture and have a chance to either torture them till they die and turn into a skeleton or we could possibly convert them to our cause and make the enemy the enemy of the friend. But Other than that, that is the first episode for... Who we got here? Home realm. Home realm. Hey, you know what? Let's play the home realm, and I'll give you guys a little taste of what to come eventually. Just so you guys have a slight idea of what's to come for if the next you're episode. For more practice, you should continue your campaign upon Kairos. Let's just go over since that was a short, mi shorter mission than I thought. Let's just play this for a couple minutes. Probably won't complete it, but just kind of give you guys a general idea of what we got here. Oh, that's the gateway. Make a three. Ooh, nope. I want a three by three. What is that? That is you another have gateway. A gateway. Well. 
gonna be that pain. We got one gateway going. Let's make our first room. Let's do the barracks. There's also other. There's uh, the crucible. There's um challenge maps that we will eventually do short gate. streams on. This is basically just like a tra tra uh, practice realm, the ho home front, so we can just kind of like mess around and you can just play around with it. Get you there. Get the sleeping quarters going. Make that bigger. Oh. Top of that, we'll mine out this. Mine out this. Kind of get some other basic rooms started. We can also... Oh, we don't have the spell. Never mind. There is a spell to create more workers. If your workers die, you can actually get it, gain a spell. That's called Create Worker. I love the little talks. They talk amongst each other. They make weird sounds. It's pretty entertaining. see let's let him finish up claiming after you destroy a wall you gotta wait for your imps to claim room because if they don't come here I want you to finish that my friend thank you they also will fortify walls if your walls are fortified the enemy, the Warriors of Light, and the other overlords cannot breach your wall unless they break that wall with the spell. Finish putting that together. Also, the rooms will be darker until they fortify walls because the walls will put the torches automatically. But like since we've only played the first part of the portion of the mission, we'll only get these four rooms until we play further into the campaign. Once we get further in the campaign, then then we'll be able to uh, be able to use other mounts. Like we don't even have gold anymore, which is kind of upsetting. So yeah, that's basically how it is. Discovered a gateway. Right on, right on. Because if you noticed, watch this little guy right here. See that meter? That meter says experience. As he continues to work and does his duties, he will level up. You watch him really closely. No, I think that's his working meter. Yeah, that's his working meter. So now he's leveled up. To level two. When this meter around his health picks up, he completes his job. And they keep going and going and going until your whole base is sort of fortified. But we're gonna head a, go ahead in the main mission because there's nothing really we can do as far as that. But I want to show you a bigger portion of how your dungeon will look. But all right, ladies and gentlemen. That is it for me today. Thank you guys for joining me for War for the Overworld. I look forward to see you guys in the next episode. Hope you guys enjoy this. I want to hear you guys' thoughts down below. Make sure you leave me a comment. Show me some love. Share this video. And I'd like to say thank you to all of you for all the love and support. And as always, ladies and gentlemen, I'll see you later. Peace out.